A reflection sometimes exposes more reality than the object it echoes. from this contraption. Or you could give us tea, if you prefer. Were you impolite at table? Did you slap your tea? Or talk while chewing? Confess your crime. We've done nothing of the kind. It's the Hatter. He's gone quite mad, if I do say so. Speaking of which, how is the Queen of Hearts not like a typhoon? Both are powerful, destructive, and indiscriminately cruel. But the typhoon doesn't mean to be. Good answer. Wrong, but good. Oh, I beg your pardon. You are in real danger. Where is your host? Real danger? Are we? Really? Here, I wish to go home. Evidently, I've worn out my welcome. will be here at six, sharp as clockwork. This is no opportunity to deny us our tea. Most cruel, I'm sure. And his medicine makes me tired.
quick as Mercury and mad from it, among other things. He is obsessed with time. Find him or your own time may be short. Those two seem to barely comprehend their situation. They're blithering idiots. But the Hatter does come at six on the dot. For his tea? No. To check his cruel experiments. With gears, springs, levers, and mechanical gizzards, he seeks an impossible precision. Like a watchmaker obsessed with infinitesimal fractions of seconds, or a mathematician who tries to square the circle. He'll turn all the inhabitants into his automatons, or kill them in the attempt. That's simply awful. Six o'clock, you say? Six precisely, by that clock. Hmm. Perhaps six comes early today.
Thank you.